You are watching MTV Buri Hamwe. I want to congratulate you for being appointed. In among the many to work with the President Museveni, as Dr. Man has described him, President Museveni is a philosopher, is a scholar, and is a historian, and is man of all the people. You will find many groups, those one who are even peasants, want to associate with him. And you as a PPS, you have to contain all this flowing from the big person to the lowest in this country. And apparently the president who happens to everybody in this country, wherever he goes, he knows people he finds there. So I also urge you that treat those people who knows him there as Madame said, that have empathy. You have empathy on them, and build a very strong teamwork. Then I don't see you failing in the State House. I want also to appeal to the staff of State House that give all the support and trust which you have the new incoming PPS. And I know you have been doing this one. This is the first time, but this has been your norm. So please continue with that norm and make us succeed. At the same time, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to him upon the milestone that he has just achieved of being appointed a minister in this government. I pray that the good Lord continues to guide you in your new assignment, Doctor. In that same vein, I want to take this opportunity to thank the President for appreciating your work and elevating you to that position. Let's thank and clap for the president. I would like also to congratulate Dr. Mona for the elevation he has got to become a minister. From a level of a permanent secretary to a level of a minister and having worked closely with the president that means that he has faith and trust in you. Otherwise, there are others who have left that office and not deployed anywhere. I'd like to thank God for the blessing of this opportunity. I'd like to thank the President of our nation, His Excellency, for giving me the opportunity to serve this country and to move it forward. I'd like to thank the outgoing PPS for all you've done to drive the agenda of the president and for pushing his vision forward. Thank you very much. I'd also like to thank the deputy for here. Um, I'd also like to thank all of you. Every day you come in, you put in the hours, you work hard for this country. And I'd like to thank you very much for that. I look forward to getting to know you individually, to working closely with you, and working to push the agenda of the president forward, working to develop our nation. I really want to thank the president, uh, President Museveni, for this great opportunity that he has given me to serve the country by working very closely for him and with him. Uh, pres the president has been, uh, to me, a parent. He's been my leader. He's been my mentor, and he's been my carer. And if anyone would, add, would ask me to de describe President Museveni, I think the, small, the little I know about him, I would say I have been privileged to work with such a rare leader in the world. Dr. Omona took over the office of PPS in December 20. 19 for a challenging but at the same time rewarding career. Throughout these years, he has served with unparalleled com commitment and dedication to the country and to AG the president. It is no surprise that he leaves the office of PPS to join the cabinet as a minister. Congratulations <laughs> to you, Doctor, upon being elevated. Minister, 
I thank you for all you have done and wish you all the best in the position where I am sure you will serve with the same favor we displayed as PPS. And to my sister uh, Gloria, I want to thank God for you. And uh, I also want to say the same that you have a great opportunity, a great privilege to work with that man. I once said that even if I work for President Seven for one hour, I'll go and celebrate. I was surprised I worked for him for over four years. I, Gloria Asio Omaswa, swear in the name of the Almighty God, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Uganda and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. So help me, God. I, Gloria Asio Omaswa, swear that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal any matter to any person which shall be brought under my consideration or shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my official duties, except as may be required for the dis discharge of my official duties or may be specially permitted by the President. So help me God. I have cherished my workplace, I have cherished this institution, and I will continue to do so wherever I go. I pray to, be, to continue being your ambassador out there. And I want to pledge to continue working with you. And therefore, I want to call upon all of you to continue supporting me like you supported me before. And I also pray that the good Lord that guided me, guided my steps, renewed my energy while I worked here, continue to do the same with you and also with me where I'll be going. I thank you. The incoming PPS, I wish to congratulate you upon your appointment and extend our warmest welcome to you. Welcome to State House. You will find a good team of hardworking men and women who will be loyal, that will be loyal to you and help you to deliver results. We are excited that you are here and we look forward to working with you. We know that you bring in new skills, new experiences, and a, a fresh perspective to this office that will benefit Eki, the president, and all of us. Our selection by the appointing authority is a mark of honor to you and an indicator of the highest integrity Eki, the president chose, that, that he chose you among many Ugandans. State House is a family of highly committed individuals all of us are dedicated to serve our president and the nation. It is indeed bittersweet because we have sweet memories of our colleague Dr. Mona, who is leaving us, but at the same time he has been elevated and will still be around. So we gather here to bid farewell to our esteemed friend, Dr. Mona, who has been appointed the minister, and we want to welcome our colleague, the incoming PPS, Madame Wasi Ogrori.
Thank you for an appointment.